Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. This is me, Sumaira Salim. You're watching this TV USA. Let's have a look at the Kashmir news. Mohammed Ahsan, the detained chairman of the International Forum for Justice and Human Rights in Jammu and Kashmir illegally occupied by India, has appealed to the international community to put pressure on India to stop human rights violation in the occupied territory. Mohammed Ahsan, in a message from Court Bahawal Jail in Jammu, referred to the recent killing of two civilians, Superintendent Kumar and the Kumar Kumar, outside an army camp in Rajori district of Jammu region, saying that the incident is an eye-opener of the international community. I wonder how brutally India is massacring innocent people in the occupied territory. As an onto pointed out, the 1948 FIRs were registered in different police stations during this year, under which Hurriyat leader, human rights activists, hundreds of innocent Kashmiris, including security guards, journalists, religious scholars, and PhD scholars were arrested. In Jammu and Kashmir, under the illegal occupation of India, the Indian authorities have decided to speed up preferences internally against the Kashmiris to punish them for their commitment to the ongoing freedom movement. The Director General of Police in occupied Jammu and Kashmir, Dilbakh Singh, while talking to journalists in Jammu, announced that the demolition and sealing of the properties of people associated with the freedom movement will be accelerated in the coming days. It is recalled to occupying authorities' 20 properties of Hurriyat leader and organization, especially Jamiyat Islami in occupied Kashmir, have already been confiscated for playing a role in the struggle of the right to self determination. The All Party Hurriyat Conference in India's illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir strongly condemned the killing of innocent Kashmiri youth by the occupying Indian troops. The spokesperson of the All Party Hurriyat Conference in a statement issued in Srinagar expressed deep concern over the resumption of the catch and kill policy by the Indian occupation forces. He said that the fascist Modi government is using every barbaric tactics to force Kashmiris to give up their right-based freedom movement. He said that despite all the atrocities of India, the morale of Kashmiri is high and they are determined to carry out the mission of their great martyrs in its local conclusion. Political expert and analyst in India's illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir have said that the fascist Indian government, led by Narendra Modi, is forcefully implementing the nefarious agenda of RSS to canalize the occupied territory. According to Kashmir Media Service, political expert and analyst in their reviews and statement in Srinagar pointed out that India's colonial occupation of Jammu and Kashmir began when it illegally landed its troops in Srinagar on 27 October 1947. He said that the implementation of land grant rules in occupied Jammu and Kashmir is another colonial tactic of the Modi government. Political expert and the analyst said that the new land grant rules of the Modi government are taking away the land Kashmiris and handed it over to non-local people. That's all for now. Keep watching the CTV USA or log into our website, thecityvusa.com.